Oh. I'm the one newbie. It's time for Rocket Keeper. Uh, today. A type zero event. It's apparently based around sync. Type zero, of course, always being one of those games that I just am not familiar with at all. So it comes up, and I have to be like, "Yeah, no, this seems right." Also, double check another thing real quick. Just yep, no, okay, that's good. All right, yeah, so let's get into it. The uh, the ultimate weaker. It's kind of weird to find terminology for these, and these are fights that might actually eventually phase away uh, from things that I even do, uh, just because we do get some other further difficulty of fight later on. So this being exactly the same as the apocalypse, and just being you know that eventual base difficulty of fight that we just phase away. Like, everybody can do this. You just do X, Y, and Z and you can clear the fight. Joe starts off with watching a chocobo bleed to death. Man. Hell yeah. actually pretty all right and I think this is the first time that we're ever hearing it in an event which is wild all right By the way, as far as the uh, the higher end event fights go, uh, this is multi-target the fight, the event. Uh, both of our event fights, so then both of our higher level versions of them uh, are multi-targeted. In other words, this is where summons live. one of you has a percentile attack because nobody should be doing that much damage in an ultimate point in case this might be one of those fights where they're actually getting in a bit of an advantage from uh, Haste.
Fine. Just gotta balance everything out. takeaway is no, no matter how much attack or boosts you have, uh, the heavy moveset is very good. set of fights is Lesser Corals. Uh, nine of them. This one for a uh, a lesser party build and also it feels like the, mm, it's hard to say. Uh, they really gotta stop giving us for our submission fights. <laughs> Either A, stop giving us multi-targeted fights or B give us somebody in type 0 that can do dances because I swear to lord hey hello Ooh, excuse me As I stated, but it might have been before a lot of people shuffled on in here, uh, I dozed off a little bit after eating dinner. So, still got a little bit of the sleepies. Either way, the name of the game for dealing with this and the Apocalypse version of this fight is, uh... What if we just had more firepower? What if we just didn't use brakes at all? And just had more damage? We'll see how this works. I need to kind of throw this part together. Slap hazardly. Yeah, I've heard that thing about, like, the Type-0 Gilgamesh being the original Gilgamesh, but it's weird. I don't know how much I believe any of that stuff. So, many cats. Anything to note about... Uh, most of these waves of enemies is that the... Um, the middle one generally has more health. I just thought about something. I may have to re uh, regroup.
or we focus fire. Amazing. Such devastation. You call it silence call, despite the fact that it doesn't silence at all. There we go. Well, we can work with this. Jesus Lord. Well. Well. Hmm, that's also not the right move. I came into this all goofed up. Is that gonna heal? Is that gonna heal seven? That's not gonna heal seven. Fine, we're going to debuff them and deal a billion more damage. It's not like their moves deal a billion back. Oh jeez. No, oh, should have healed Ace. So anyway, uh, multi-target fights are extremely rough if you uh, don't have the mitigation for them. Well. Just need to get one more spell off. It's all good. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, y'all. Blue Deep is bad. This was uh, a poor choice. There's extremely a better choice for that slot. So, un momento while I fix some things. You'll do. Now you can see how I set up limited weird parties. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, Type Zero is PSP, and I think he got a PS3, oh, PS4 port. 
Anywho. There's a quad and freezing quad. No, not freezing. No. Tornado. Tornado. Any more of these. Uh. Nope. Sword. I put a sword on you, right? Yes. Alright, there. Two seconds, everything fixed. We have a real extra party member. We will hear some windows noises on my side. Please bear with. If anything, I think in this party, seven is the weak link now. Though she does enough damage when she needs to. There we go. Uh, the PSP version was extremely released outside Japan, I believe. I believe. Maybe not. The big thing I remember about the console release was that's where the demo for 15 was. So that's why a lot of people picked the game up. It was very much a... Uh, Even that fucking robot game that Kojima made. With that game situation of Zone of the Enders. It's very much a Zone of the Enders, no, your Solid 2 situation. So, one thing of note if you're doing this fight like a normal person and not dumb like me. Uh, and you have soul breaks. Uh, what that just happened there is a very big thing that will charge a lot of soul break meter. What will happen if I do this? Who are you going to hit? Doesn't entirely matter, but I am curious. Alright. Dope. This fight is a lot for a limited composition team. It's a bit much, but this is a special scenario that not a lot of people are going to experience. So it's also kind of fine in that regard. No, I think this is just rough for Sid mission on a whole. Ugh. Okay, we need to recover.
Who would win in a fight? Three military or five military trained children or one cat? Possibly the cat. I'm nice. It's all good. Gotta be good. All right. Sink has been powering up for three turns. Five thousand years. Oh, I just get it all sink. Just do the move. Yeah, it's alright for a five star move. We got there. Look, and everybody got credit, too. Now it's time to stop messing around. I'm looking, yeah, this will work for what I need. Done with my windows. Okay, here we go. Superb soldiers. Oh boy. Alright, so they're using the ultimate bravery right from the start, which is, of course, a unique attack buff. Well, unique in that it's a flat attack buff, is what I mean. Uh, so you need a flat attack down to counter that.
Hmm. They're actually quite quick. Regen should help a little bit. They also like throw a, uh, a flat defense buff. But we're running, you know, the huge for this kind of fight, so we don't care. Please double cast yourself. Nice. There you go. Mitigate with mitigation of way more acceptable. And once a couple buffs are up, summons will do the job nicely. wanted to, I can extremely just pop units, healing, soul break, and uh, bring everybody up to good numbers again, but it's not even necessary at this point. Down to just one boy, and seem to be dead. As is multi-target boss fights. They are scary. Because there are many enemies, but they go down pretty fast, all things considered. Yeah, Apocalypse Machine Gun has a good sound to it. I, uh, I was thinking the same exact thing when that name came up. Of like, there's a joke in here. Can't exactly find it, but there is a joke in there. Ultimate Apocalypse, there we go. Double plus. We did eventually go back and beat up... What did we fight last week? Tunnel Armor. Tunnel Armor was last week. Uh, main thing I had to do was I swapped out... I want to say it was swapping out... Uh, Squall's USB for his awakening and then... That made the donuts. So the main strategy I give for the Apocalypse fight, because in the Apocalypse fight, actually we'll wait until we get in there for people jumping around on YouTube videos.
Okay. So the main thing for this fight, I would say strategy wise, um, is that you are going to want to make sure that somebody on one of these slots has a way to AOE Asuna. Uh, whether that be like Tyro here, who has his Glint, or you know, you could bring Enkidu, Magicite, will do the job. Uh, this is mainly due to the uh, the wave two fall of silence is a 100% hit chance, unavoidable. So you, you need to deal with it. It's unavoidable. Please kindly address the mechanic. sit on Tyro here. Actually, no. No, we're not. We're going to cast Passion Salsa because we need to wait for three of their turns to go by. Also, note, uh, either way, however you're dealing with the silence, if you are running a summon comp, uh, put your healer in the middle slot. It's the only slot that doesn't get hit by Silence Claw. I wonder if this super is a spell or not. It's not. Neat. So yeah. Silence Claw goes off twice in a row just to trip you off if you windmill slam your uh, your answer to it. So, hold off for the second claw. Then purge. And then, uh, you know, drop train on the second wave as you see fit. Oh, so yes. Hello. Good evening. This should go to phase three. Yes. This might seem boring. Is it maybe a problem with AOE fights? Maybe a little bit. Uh, it's hectic for sure. These aren't easy fights. They go down easy, but like, watch how close I get to being killed. Definitely not free. Wait, 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 hold up. One moment. Nope.
One of these. There we go. fights have their usual problem of are very scary for the first turn or two and then they die. <laughs> now we enter the problem with AoE fights. The Sass Effects dances, seems like they always throw mind gear on the Bard Dancer. I don't even know if it matters. Um, so, not really. No, nothing really affects dances. Uh, however, a lot of dancers are healers. For the most part, there are some that aren't. So, mind gear on them isn't the worst idea. If you're still using Soul Breaks. Aside from that, just go for whatever. Uh, I need Super Wall. Also, yeah, mine. High Mind will, if they get like paralyzed or stopped or something, they'll shrug off the debuff, so there's also that. Brush fight that we're about to do once I uh, I get through this has a nasty gimmick that I also looked square in the face and said bold of you to assume that I was respect your gimmick. So, as stated, uh, I bring zero debuffs to this. They go down fast enough. Why do I always start explaining stuff before getting into the fight? There is a fight for explaining this. So, as described before with the ultimate version of this fight, uh, I bring zero debuffs because... Th th there's no reason. There's no reason to. Um, Type 0 doesn't have AoE debuffs except for Soul Breaks. So if you're looking to have one of those, good on you. But uh, you're not going to get anything out of single target debuffs. So there's no point for that. And um, otherwise, you just gotta go with what you got. Right about there feels good. I might wait for this to finish though. Let's take my automatic five star match side team to weekly content and auto. Yeah. That's what endgame people can do. But personally, what I do with these videos isn't for endgame people. I show how minimal builds can get through stuff. Though so this this team less minimal, but it's also, you know, Sid mission stuff. I minimal this by if I have any awakenings, I don't use them. All ultras here.
yeah, yeah, no problem. It, it's sort of a weird thing because I feel like nobody else does this sort of stuff. Uh, but it is interesting to see how minimal of a build you can go through this. Alright, I'm gonna hold because I got a good plan coming up here. You swing in there. You defend. Silence Claw is coming out. You heal. You defend. Yeah, most Ultras are in the shop anyway. Alright, so that's the first Claw. Heals everybody up. Give me the second claw. And that's NQ. Unfortunately, there's no way to bring like a mass sooner to this except I think outside of soul breaks. And I just don't think I have the soul break for that. Uh, so Enkidu has to do the job. Unfortunately, we do have to assume like, hey, have you cleared Magicite? To an extent. Or a... Uh, poverty build, but yeah, sometimes that happens. Whoa! Thank you with no plan. You, uh, you defend. Dang. So this is of course where the problem of this fight comes from. They just hit too dang hard. Well, less bodies is less bodies I have to heal. Blast burn would have destroyed this final phase, but we just didn't get there. And now, unfortunately, we have to deal with the one-two combo coming in about two seconds here. I'm about to make a bad decision, but so it is. Yeah, that's not gonna get off at all. We're dead. Try this again. Again, a lot of difficulty of this fight mainly stems from the fact of stop giving us multi-target fights as our Sid missions for Type-0. It really doesn't work. This isn't what Type-0 is built for as a fucking realm. They can't do multi-target missions. I just want to get one good run on that final wave. And then if I still haven't cleared this, 
I might have to turn in the towel on this one. And like on paper, it's like, well, how would you deal with this much multi-targeted damage? Where you can't fully mitigate what's going on? And the answer is, well, it's quite simple. You would, of course, build a, uh, a party with two healers. And then you go, oh, wait, right, Type-0 only has one healer. Technically two with Rem, but... Nothing Rem does is healing. Rem is DPS. Fine. We've built around. Oh well, you can't defend. Well, it's fine. You will heal. There doesn't seem to be an Asuna in realm. The closest you get is. Realms Astra, but that would get dispelled. Yeah, so. Alright, I'm gonna recast Deuce BSB here. Oh wait, yeah, I think Queen has an Asuna. Yeah, 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 I actually believe Surprising Pigeon on this one. I may actually have that. Oh, get there. Hmm. That's quite fun. I thought the only check for Rem and Deuce. Yeah, I think Queen as an SSB Asuna. Oh, come on, big money. Or can be here, children. Alright, it's one down. Come on, Blast Burn. Blast Burn, please. Sick! Uh, I am Lightning Resist. That is through Lightning Resist. Again, over gesturing over this way wildly. Parties are there. We got there though. Yeah, I mean, I'll like double check that party setup real quick, but I didn't take that screenshot. Yeah, this is all lightning resist accessories. The, the cats just hit weirdly hard. But anyway.
Every time the song starts up, I feel like my headphones broke. Hey, Cubezoic. Let's load Team 1. And Seg Age. I was going to say Sega something, but that's wrong. Seg Age. Low as well. Meek. So as always, uh, the meek fights seem to be easier than the Forsaken fights were. Uh, though this boss has a very interesting mechanic. Two interesting mechanics. The first is Berserker. <laughs> and the second one being its counter. I think I sunburnt. I, I, I mentioned my Discord, but I'm doing a lot of yard work the last few days. I think I sunburnt the top of my head. <sighs> Anywho. So guards who are here. Big things. Counters almost any physical attack. 70% uh, chance to counter. So very likely that it will. The second thing is that. Really likes to berserk people. Now, the second thing about almost everything that this boss does, both the berserks and the interrupts that it also does, um, they all respect resistances. Uh, this said, you do want some of your people to be packing lightning resistance because his hits are actually pretty potent. Um, so you, you want that resistance a little bit. Did I mention his counter? So the other thing is his counter. His counter which has a 70% chance to counter any physical attack. Once you get through that front door, really nasty stuff that he does, you're more or less in the clear. Like this is scary, oh no, we're almost dead, but dream stage exists.
But yeah. The other thing is that since his attack respects ability resistances, uh, Affliction Break actually works. We have a fight here in the year 2020 where Affliction Break is real. A woo. Here is the reverse side of that. Of uh, we might lose lightning here. We're probably gonna lose lightning. Unless selfie's real nice. Oh, it's fine. Okay, he did search. Search is the free turn. Should be able to get this off. We're fine. Oh, yes, no, the correct way to attempt this fight is to go magic, 100%. I am doing a dumb thing as a show of force. So, no, nobody got interrupted. That was mainly due to, you know, Astra, but some people that should have been interrupted still have Astra, Kane. All right, finally. Dream stage. Okay, it will heal. Eh, why not? So focus bolts hits weirdly hard. Well. It's fine. It's fine. So the person in the center will take the most punishment out of anybody. What if you're just nice? But yeah, if you're going the weirdly, I am actually going to be using physical attacks because I'm weird in the head. Uh, I recommend having the middle three people all have lightning resist. Aside from that then, uh, interrupt resist is very good for this fight. Anywho, it's time to actually start doing some real damage. Should also... Hmm, we need to get our buffs back up. Our attack buff is actually worn off at, by this point.
Not as though you, you know, could notice. Could also spend a turn at some point doing another affliction break. That would be beneficial. EMP barrage should be coming up in a second here. No, it was Scorpion Tail all along. Nice! Nice! One of them just good! Alright, that's gonna make my life a little easier for the upcoming couple of status effects. No interrupt, please. Why? Why are you like this, Guard Scorpion? Why are you like this? This could end very poorly. Well, Lightning might be dead. Or, I'm nice. I'm just real good at video games, y'all. So this is a note to make about this weird physical attempt, is that you go, oh, physical is going to get hit way more because it's constantly countering, and then you go, right, which means they get to use soul breaks way more. Like, I would say 50%, maybe 60 or 70% of the damage that has been done to the boss here was just from soul breaks. Every time Focus Bolts comes up, Focus Bolts goes off and then whoop, 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 whoop. I did not have a jump, an instant jump lined up. And then Kane went the space. Now physical is doable on that fight. 100%. And that's all I wanted to prove. You can do physical. It is not recommended. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a magic team.
So, the magic team in question. Dash, can you dispel? I just remembered that that's required for this fight. Is that in your three star repertoire? Dang. Do we need a fortune break? It does make life easier, but. It's fine. Gotta remember which of these is which, because I always forget. This is the Chaser. This is the Instant Asuna and Reject. And Astra, okay. Oh, I also didn't bring this up, but it should be noticed about this fight. Uh, Ding Dong Scorpion here uh, pierces everything. The wall's worthless in this fight. Everything defensive is worthless in this fight. Lowering his stats, though, not entirely worthless. He is 70% resistant, uh, but hey, if you can work a dancer in, that's going to save your butt, since everything pierces. One other thing I did, just want to familiarize myself. Why do you still have Dream Stage? Hold up. There we go. Oh, what if, though? Instant. Instant. Okay, that's what I need to know. Sing me a song. Piano Man. So another rage mode is... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> she... Hmm. I'm interested in this. What if I'm just nice?
Oh, that's not right. That was extremely the wrong button. Uh, it's fine. Jesus. All right. Hold up. I didn't exactly test this party. Yeah, okay. Can't be tw can't be nice twice. All right, let's do this the actual way. So they might just be interrupted anyway. Yeah, they're just gonna get interrupted. Or Astro. Right. He really hits hard, doesn't he? Yep, that's not gonna work. All right. Well, I have a second thought. That's not right. Wrong button combo. Well, who are the Forsaken fights where uh, they just hit hard? I guess the thought process is if we're giving you a billion meter, use it. So I can eat two hits, and then I need the big. Which this should be fine. So I can eat that one, and then if I dispel him with this, that haste might actually be a little real on him. All things considered, too. Look, I could be wrong. All right. 
That's the last stand. And something else? Is that regen as well? Yes. Alright, now we start spot healing. As well as doing other moves. Now we just gotta hope to build enough meter, keep stuff going. Ooh, I was dropping frames for a second there. I'm still dropping frames. Hmm. Apologies. I zoned out into deep strategy pit. We seem to have normalized though in this fight uh, and should be fine for at least the majority of it. That was the wrong move. I meant to do the Astra. Oh well. It's a full heal. That's what we need. I'm gonna hold off on my next healing action. See what we get. And we are getting frame hiccups again. So I apologize for that, but for the purposes of recording a video and getting it on YouTube, just gonna power through this. Okay, that's what I was waiting for.
It seems as though my voice might not be getting through to the stream chat, so just a moment. Either way, luckily this boss doesn't pull off anything uh, crazy in the latter phases. It is mainly just uh, the same of it for most of the fight. You know, big artillery, so on and so forth. Big artillery did big damage, though. That could be a problem. buff up again and get some healing. Ah, okay. We've normalized a little bit. Hi, hello, welcome back. Apologize for the hiccup. There's not a lot I can do about that. As you can see, it's going all right, though. Spoke too soon. As always, the second half of the fight, of the two set, does prove to be a little rougher. Right, let's get the, uh, wrong character. Let's get the Astra. For whatever's coming, Astra will help. Wow, that actually would have hit uh, Larsa, so smart that I did that. This is wasting the witch quick cast here, but I do need to get my uh, my other buff up. Seeing how as uh, 
Oh my god, what the fuck is your name? This guy. Fourth slot. Fourth O here. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of my damage from here on out. Dash. smart though. Well, it will have taken us a very long time. Trial and tribulations through internet problems. What we got there. We did it. see how long we stay stable for. Got it, coach. Oh, shit. Is the side stream actually working for you? Yeah, it is. Dope. It's finally the magic week. But yeah, as soon as I see drop frames, I'm going to have to stop the side streams. Yeah, I gotcha. I need to check something very quickly. Oh, right, I need to, need to go buy the sapphire the crystals nuggets. God forbid we make this easy. Why do I need a hundred? Uh, yeah, it was a hundred. No. No. Not even one more week, two more weeks. Alright, I'm not gonna do this. Uh, let's briefly talk about the Focus Roll Draw. Sure. So, what is the point of this? Wind. Alright, so it just seems to be Lunith, Desh, and Galoof. That's it. So, I'm not going to go too in-depth into these, because they've been throwing these at us like... fucking nothing else. But... It's an Earth, Wind, Lightning... One... That... I guess you can jump on. Is, are these Realm Chains even? No, okay, that's a Wind Chain. And that's Lightning Magic. So, there are two chains on it. Take that as you will. It seems alright. Yeah, I was about to ask what... Like... Why do they even call these focused anymore? It's Gear Up Selected Heroes. It says it right there. Duh. Okay. Anywho. My daughter's here. And she's real. And huge. Meteor Cyclone. 15 physical Earth Wind. Wind is entirely in flavor. 
uh, non elemental to one enemy temporarily grant major power infusion from Earth and grant sync mode. Cap break one and grant two ranks of heavy charge to the user. Command one syncs with Earth abilities. Deal six physical Earth wind non elemental. If the user has rank two, then deal six Earth wind that attack mag breaks, breakdowns. Number two, deal three physical earth win, not on mental, and grant one rank of heavy charge. Increase the damage of the user's earth abilities a large amount. Now, note something about command one here. Doesn't say uses the heavy charge. Yeah, you just get a stack. And uh, by the way, this is on sync specifically, so she can coin flip into two stacks. Yes, but specifically... Uh, she also, and I'm gonna, very rare thing for me, but I can actually very easily show this off. Uh, she got a record board with unique ability, this event. So, let me find it, here it is. Uh, six physical earth to one target, grant one rank of heavy charge. And the, the, it, it has a long cast time, but it, the delay is reduced each time she uses it. Uh, hey, guess what can easily avoid the long delay cast time of that move? That's right, baby. It's quick cat. Oh. It's being attached wow. to a sync command. So Earth Ravager is meant to sync with her unique ability. And then you just use Earth Destroyer, whichever spender you feel you want to use it works it works pretty well yeah it does uh, there's not much more to say to this because for as much as I say hey this is a cool in the interaction right here uh, it's just damage it's just an efficient heavy soul break it's a uh, it works really well with her abilities but it is still very simple exactly Alright, seven. Fifteen magic ice on a mental, temporarily fuse uses with power of ice, and cause every second ice ability trigger to follow up chilling lash, which I'm gonna guess is an imperiler, because that is kind of her thing. Uh it's an imperiler, a defres mind crush, and a dispel. Neat. That's a lot. That is a lot. Um Well. It's kind of wild that she can do that off of only two, like, it's a chaser off of two ice abilities, so. No, Command 1 specifically is not a spender on Sync's thing. Command 1 is a charger, yeah. Well, no, no, no. The, the Command 1 is, it, it, it has an extra effect if it has two things, but it's right here. If the user has two charges, deal six physical, earth, wind, and attack mine debuff. That's it. There's no spending happening here. The ability that you attach that to is supposed to be a spender. Uh, anywho, uh, yeah, this is just seven continuing to do what seven does, being yeah, a yeah, yeah. ice and parallel in magic. Very powerful support. Not only that, not only the effects themselves, but just the fact that you can, you're just constantly slamming them down to refresh the crush, and also just to get rid of any buffs that they may have put up while you were busy doing that. Yep. King Snipe Mode. 15 physical range lightning on elemental, temporary infuse user with power of lightning, temporary grant awoken lightning mode, and increase the user's physical damage a moderate amount. Enter greased triggered mode. I'm gonna need to know what that is. Okay, uh, so it casts critical enfilade after using three lightning attacks that is 12 single range attacks with up to 100 percent additional crit uh chance if the user dealt up to 240,000 and one damage during the status and then it removes grease trigger mode mm -hmm. hey I'm, I'm gonna have to cancel side stream i apologize no that's fine figured it would happen eventually yep i can't have anything nice 
Uh, so, yeah, so anyway, it just uh, it is a ramp burst. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no extra bonuses to imperils or anything, because that kind of seems like that was King's thing for a while. Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, what's up? I said no extra bonuses to imperils. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were just saying that in passing. Um, no, it's just, a. Uh... You're just getting the usual Awakening Fair, uh, physical plus 30%, and just that mode where you ramp up to one big 12-hit attack. Okay. Cater. Tricolor Shot. 15 range physical, fire ice lightning, uh, non elemental to one enemy, terminally fused the user with Awoken Engineer Mode, enter Tri-Element Transition Mode, and remove Delay from the user's Machina abilities. Uh, uh, Tri-Element Transition Mode, I'm going to guess is a Switch Draw? Yep, Switch Draw for three elements, which is already pretty great. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, like, <laughs> there's not much else to it. She's a Generalist. This is very, very good at making her a Generalist. And she is a general stomachinist. Yep. Which, uh... Machinist users kind of want to be generalists. Uh, well, not exactly, but it's not frowned upon. A Machinist generalist user uh, can get some mileage because for what it's worth, what they need to do, they don't need to be able to deal damage. It's nice, but they don't need it. They're there for setups, and the a generalist mockingist is very good at just slotting into multiple teams to create multiple setups. Exactly. The fact that she actually has a switch draw on that is great. Yeah, they just do that with the uh, generalist now, so good on them. Uh, Sync's Awakening, 15 physical earth win uh, to one enemy, temporarily he uses the power of earth. Uh, defense resistance mind crush no break down uh, grant awoken heavy mode and increase cap break by two uh, temporarily cause heavy abilities used by the user to grant one charge of heavy uh, combine that with her dive it's stupid yeah yeah it's it's silly Th this interacts super well with her dive uh, on a character that also just did heavy very well. Yeah, not much more to say about it. The uh, entry is pretty great, and it just makes her heavy better good. Mm -hmm. uh, Drain Lash is arcane out of 10. Ice fl flavored magic. Three big hits. Uh, King gets a small boost lightning gun. That is 20 big hits, one big... 20 small hits, one big hit at the end. He really likes to be a chain pumper. Exactly. Uh, Cater gets three very big fire ice lightning. A little odd for her since... She is an imperial, or usually those are chain builders, but a hey, it gets the job done. Good pluses. Seven is uh, a temporary grant, a power infusion, and remove delay from these actions for one turn. Go fast. Yep, combo blunt, always nice. Uh, King gets uh, empower infusion, lightning, and remove delay from these actions for one turn. Cater gets instantly removed the life from the user's actions for one turn and temporarily grant tri elemental transition mode. Yeah, 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 and that's it. She just gets a remove the life for two turns, which is a lot, and a switch draw. It, yeah, like. One sec. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
so yeah, instead of stacking, she just gets instant cast two and the switch draw. Wait, I think it's in. No, it's just uh, an elemental. It's not in power infusion. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, uh, in exchange for being a generalist, she gets the switch draw and then just gets an instant cast two on top of it. So she's giving up stacking since she's not. You know, yeah. Anyway. Uh, normal coin for seven is a instant dispel of all enemies and empower infusion. A very good support. Yeah, there's situations that this is useful. Uh, El Mars, seven gets a double cast. Oh, nice. Uh, King gets a double cast on lightning. And that's it. Uh, all in all, it's a really powerful banner for a lot of powerful characters. And finally, I stopped dropping frames, knocking on wood. Um, for a note, this will be really fun. Uh, I am saying this at 9.41 for the people viewing on stream. <laughs> uh, but yeah. It's a really powerful uh, banner of ice, lightning, cater, earth. It's kind of all over the place elementally, but all of the tech on here is good. It can really help out any team. Uh, nothing really too much more to say about that, um, but it, it, this is a very, very solid banner. I am also biased because I really like Sink. Mm -hmm. I like big dumb slam energy. Share if you don't think. Oh yeah, hey. That's cute. The uh, the little sprite of the character on the banner. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I 100% did not notice that last week. I mean, like, I can't see it right now, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, anywho, moving to the banner too. We have Wild Card for Ace, 15 Magical Fire, Elemental. Temporarily fused with fire, and cause uses black magic and summon abilities to trigger a follow-up attack. Blind stud. Blind stud depends on the triggering ability type. I believe, if I remember right, this is a quick cast on black magic and a ether on summon. Uh, yeah, like it's if it's a if it's chasing black, then it's two single attacks with magic quick cast two. And if it is chasing summon, it is two single attacks that grants uh, ten percent buff fire to the user. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, eight, ice bound billow. Fifteen, physical ice non-elemental. Non temporary infuse user with power of ice. Enter a woken monk mode. Grant mirror image to the user, enabling them to avoid three physical attacks and enter righteous fist mode, which I believe is like a chaser or quick cast or something like that. As long as he has the mirror image. Uh, yeah. Crit chance is one hundred percent. Cast speed is uh, times two. Cast ice cluster after using three monk abilities, and is removed if the user has, doesn't have any physical blank. Ice Cluster, six single attacks, and grants physical blink three again. <laughs> I remember this last time. I wasn't the biggest fan of this, and this was mainly due to the fact that I don't see a universe where you get three attacks off without losing your three blinks all that often. Just because ninjas are wildly volatile in their damage. So. Yeah. So... I'm not the biggest fan of it that wise. I mean, I'd have to see it in action. That's the big thing. That's what it boils down to, right? Yeah, because, like, the effects that are going on here in order to ensure that you get those things off and keep the interaction going seem to be just close enough to workable that, like, I don't know, 
maybe if you run it with you know your usual uh, fast cast healer setup, then it can do work because uh, he already gets double casting speed innately with this ability, and then after that you can just like pile on high quick cast from Alaris and shit, and he might be able to just keep that cycling. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see in action. Queen, Fiendish Judgment. Deal 15 physical lightning, dark, non elemental, 2 1 target, and temporarily infuse the user with the power of lightning. Uh, temporarily grant awoken lightning mode. Grant the user no quarter mode. No quarter mode reduces delayed users' actions and causes lightning abilities to increase critical hit chance up to 4, which I'm going to guess is. An eventual triple, triple cast three, or quick cast three, and uh, crit hit chance goes up twenty five percent each time. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me see here. Uh, crit chance seventy percent grants no quarter. Okay, yeah. So it goes up to a hundred. Okay. Yeah. Alright. That's alright. What was Queen? Lightning Spellblade? Yeah. Lightning that could spell work. Blade. That could work. I think there's a five hit Lightning Spellblade at this point. Uh, here is Machina. Guardian Blades. 15 physical Earth Dark. Temporarily Fuse user the power of Earth. Temporarily Grant the barrier that reflects a portion of damage as Earth. Enter fear mode and cause every fourth ability used by the user to trigger a follow up pulverizing blow, which I believe is an overstrike. Uh, let's see, grand blow is for attacks. One single attack, 100% hit rate. Instant cast one to the user. And is that overstrike? Uh, it is overstrike, but it does also grant instant cast one to the user. Alright, um, that's neat. That means one of the other, you know, like the other neat thing too, is the ramping Earth Radiant Shield, which also does overflow damage. Where is it ramping? It is because uh, you get up to three hundred percent after using one, two, or three Earth attacks. Is that just in fear mode? Yeah, that's uh, that's part of fear mode. Okay. So I was like, say, he gets that, 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 that isn't explained here at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cause uh, he gets a ramping earth thorns that goes up to three hundred percent after using more and more earth attacks, and that does overflow damage. Okay. On top of the chaser that also does overflow damage. All right. So solidly in the support category, but like very solid. All right. It's it's a niche for him. Like yeah, it's no, a workable it's, niche. It's for him. neat. It's good. That does good work. And I'm dropping frames again. Whatever. Merging your power through this. Eight. Ice surrender combo. Three massive ice hits to one enemy. Lightning. Twenty small hits, one big hit. For Queen. Sorry, my brain's just all over the place now. Uh Machina gets a Earth Chain 2.0. Physical. Uh, Machina Gwent Plus. Uh, instantly deal 6 physical Earth, non elemental, and grant the user empowered infusion. Yep. Uh, Gwent Normal for 8 is empowered infusion, remove delay for 1 turn. Cards is instantly grant to use your empowered infusion fire and reduce delay for two turns. Ace gets a small chance to double cast fire as an LMR. Eight gets begin in iced. Queen gets a begin in lightning. In lightning. That feels weird. I'm not going to get double cast spell blade. <laughs> and yeah, so it's a banner two. Again, we're getting to that point where banner twos are actually kind of worth it to an extent because you get two five star pluses and there's four awakenings. 
and you know there's there's an earth chain on this one as well that's really the way i can say it because nothing on this banner really jumps out at me i kind of like the tech on banner one a bit more yeah it has a bit more value across the board like ace is fine eight eight's weird i i, I don't care for this because i feel like you're not going to get the value out of that nine times out of ten. um okay so uh here's the other thing that helps uh the case for eight's awakening um this trance is attack plus 50 percent triple casting speed for monk abilities yeah I, again like i can see it i just don't think a character is going to get three turns in the span that they don't get hit three times but like You'd have to see. Um, but yeah. It's an alright banner. I think banner one's better. Yeah. I would imagine another big Dope. part of it is. <laughs> it is a mystery. Uh, and then I got to do the needful, of course. Even here in the failing days of internet, I will do the needful. I can't uh, do the What's up? So how's frame rate looking? I mean, it's fine for now, but it's... It drops off a cliff at the drop of a hat. Okay, well, I won't test it then. Yeah. Um... I came to the realization that I had to do a story mode stream that I didn't do because I was at PAX at some point before the end of the month. I just don't know <laughs> if my internet's going <laughs> to let me do that. <sighs> yeah, Your boy. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna shit. <laughs> I'm gonna pull him at first banner as well. I'm gonna get some percent. Here it goes. It's gonna happen. I'm not gonna look, of course. Cause that would ruin the surprise for me of how extremely disappointed I am. But, you know. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, I was just like trying to figure out how to get this working because Twitch didn't give you quality options. Oh, I don't believe it. Yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. We live in interesting times. <laughs> yeah? Gone. Gone. Gun. Who got? Gun. Oh. <laughs> oh, you ain't seen that arcane. Oh. Um, well. Well, it was not meant to be. These things happen. Uh, I'm gonna end this YouTube video.